you will see them all. Mridula, please give a big round of applause. The entire music department here. May we have Smita and Sindhu and Sharon in front? They are the backbone, they are the pillars behind this whole show. This has been, and the main focus of their practice, thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. The main focus in their entire show, in this entire show has been not just in nurturing talent, but in inspiring students to take up music, dance, and, and theater. We have all liked the subject not because we were born liking it. We liked it because of our teachers or disliked it because of our teachers. And this evening, ladies and gentlemen, these people, all of them, the ladies and gentlemen who just came up on stage, have inspired love for performing arts. And that, is, that has been their greatest achievement. Along with them, there's another lady I would like to call up on stage, Mrs. Wilma Lewis, our activities coordinator. She's looking lovely in a beautiful petani. She has tirelessly coordinated the entire event over several weeks, stage, props, costumes. Uh, and of course, she's worked very closely with John for logistics and all the admin support. John. Damodar and the entire team. I think you have been interacting more with John and Damodar than we have been interacting. And the vice principal, where is she? The vice principal, Mrs. Sridevi Gopalakrishna. She has been, again, a pillar of strength, her patience, maturity, and tenacity has been an important aspect in the run-up to the show. Thank you so much, Sri. We couldn't have done it without the three of you as well. Thank you so much. Another very important aspect, Sridevi, Sudeep, Ajay, Vilma, and team could not have done it without your support and your belief in the vision of the school. If you had not believed in the vision of the school, all this actually would have been meaningless. So thank you so much. And in, in a way, this evening is a tribute to each and every parent out here. Thank you for being part of, part of us. And without taking much of your time, I, I will hand you over to our young MCs. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for those thoughtful words. Bharat Natyam, one of the most divine forms of dance in India, is the communion of expression melody and rhythm, a form of classical dance which can hold the audience captive in its grace and divinity. Our elegant dancers present to you Swagatam Krishna, a song devoted to Lord Krishna.
what a spectacular performance. This dance certainly evoked rasa, the tasting of spiritual bliss within all of us today. In the famous words of Alan Kay, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. We have amongst us today the visionary whose core belief is that the purpose of education is to prepare students for an uncertain world. Education World names him one of 50 game changers in the education scenario in India. It is none other than the managing director and CEO of Indus Trust, Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, recipient of the Param Vishisht Seva Medal and Vishisht Seva Medal. It is a proof that he walks the talk with some of his most recent initiatives, such as Startup U and 10X, School of the Future, both of which are rooted in the philosophy of innovation. He guides and leads through example, inculcating discipline and passion for excellence in the Indus community. May I ask, sir, to kindly address all of us. Mrs. Rao, Mrs. Jetan Nandani, our PSC chair, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely honored to be given this opportunity to speak to you directly. It is on Indus Day, graduation day, and such like events that I get an opportunity to communicate with you one to one on issues which engage all of us. And there can be no issue except the purpose of education. We talk a lot about it, but most of us do very little about it. The purpose of education cannot be to score high marks in examinations, though there's nothing wrong in that. It cannot be to get placements in Ivy League colleges and universities. There's nothing wrong in that. The purpose of education is connected with innovation. It is not the innovation of people, of products, of problems, of processes. It is the reinvention of the man. The new age of innovation arrived yesterday and is already altered or altering the way we live, we work, we think, we behave, and we learn. And as the world is becoming more and more volatile and uncertain, complex and ambiguous, it is impossible to make any prediction at best we can identify or figure out probabilities. I think all of us are in agreement that creativity is the number one competency to succeed and to do well in life. Regrettably, regrettably, the present and future of innovation is under a severe crisis. And I would like you to understand that. In this new age of innovation, creativity and IQ are decreasing. They're going down. They have started to nosedive after 1990. And the greatest impact of this effect 
is on education and everything else stems out of it. Therefore, this evening, I shall briefly talk to you about five probabilities. They are not predictions, they are probabilities. They could happen, they might happen. And we have to be prepared for it. They will impact us all, young, old, and yet to be born. The first probability, I would say, is are witnessing the rise of supermind. A supermind is not a mind which has Einstein's IQ. A supermind is not Da Vinci. A supermind debunks the whole concept of a single human brain. There is no such thing as a human brain, a single human brain. We are in the age of the collaborative power of collective intelligence, where individuals, computers, and artificial intelligence think together and work together to solve problems creatively. And the second probability, which is very much in the news nowadays, is GPT, chat GPT which signals the arrival of the age of singularity. And this is where, ladies and gentlemen, our focus has got to be. Whether the age of singularity is going to happen in, 19, in 2040 or 2035 is debatable. Chat GPT announces the early arrival of the age of singularity. Whether it is a good thing, whether it is a bad thing is irrelevant. It is inevitable. And the age of singularity is where the laws of physics may break down and where machine intelligence may equal, if not surpass, human intelligence. It started to happen. Some of our great innovators like Ray Kurzil, Elon Musk, Peter Diamandis says it's going to happen by 27, another four or five years. Some say it'll happen after 20 years. It's a probability it will happen. Consequently, as I mentioned to you earlier, that the greatest innovation now is not in problem solving, in products, in design. It is about the reinvention of man with the help of artificial intelligence. And this reinvention, which I'm talking about, is to make us more human. We need to be more human. And that is one of the purpose of education. Reading, writing, and arithmetic only makes sense if education makes us good human beings, compassionate people. By unlocking our potential, by making us more creative, and making us aware of our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, and our biases. And to give some relief and succor to the audience over here, innovation has no expiry date. Innovation does not have a shelf life. By all accounts and research, innovation improves with age and experience. And I'll prove it to you. The average age of successful Hollywood directors and producers, Nobel laureates, science fiction writers, innovators, is between 70 and 75 years and increasing. The third probability is the convergence revolution. The convergence of science and technology with liberal arts. This is happening to some extent in some universities in the Western world, but certainly not happening in Indian universities because knowledge is becoming very interdisciplinary. In fact, liberal arts have become the future of the tech industry and of education. There are four reasons why this convergence is not happening enough. And this is what we are trying to do at Indus how to make this convergence happen. 
the realization, and I'll make a brief mention of it a little later in a couple of minutes, thanks to the great energy drink Red Bull, that creativity is not a skill. It's not a competency. And this is why billions of dollars that have been spent in training for creativity have come to naught. It's a mindset. There's much more to innovation. There's much more to a creative mindset than just being creative. Creativity is a part of a creative mindset. And the second is the compartmentalization of science, technology, and liberal arts. The absence of meaningful research, particularly in K-12 education. In most schools of the world today, there is no research and development happening in schools at all. And fourthly, of course, is the fear of failure and averseness to risk taking. The fourth probability which we are seeing is the rise of what I call is the algorithmic leader. The algorithmic leader in this new world of data, artificial intelligence, algorithms and automation, who reinvent themselves continuously. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest that we, threat which we face is not that we're going to be replaced by robots. It is the stubborn reluctance to reinvent ourselves. Algorithmic leaders who read algorithms and big data to make themselves human. And going in the spirit of the new 10x school which is coming up in Whitefield, presently over here in the school, algorithmic leaders are exponential leaders. They are 10x different and not 10% better. There is 10% better in dunya mein nahi chalta hai. And my recommendation to all schools is that space science and science fiction should be part of the curriculum. It should be mandated whether it is done by the IB or not or by CBSC or not. We must mandate space science and science fiction as a part of our curriculum. If you look at science fiction, whatever we are using today, most of it first appeared in science fiction. Credit cards, television sets, submarines, video conferencing, cell phones, robots, flying cars. They're coming in Dubai in 26, another three years. They've sanctioned 1,000 flying cars in Dubai. Driverless cars, drones, VR, 3D printer, all came in science fiction. Because they excite and ignite the imagination of the child. And I would also like to talk about space intelligence. And I think the biggest thing which space intelligence does is apart from exploring the outer space and being interdisciplinary thinkers since life is connected, is what John Glenn, the famous astronaut, said. And I quote him. We are more fulfilled. We are more fulfilled when we are involved in something bigger than ourselves. How beautiful. The creative mindset which I spoke to you about, the world awoke to this great research by Red Bull which started in 2013, took three years to complete. And they came to one conclusion. And I quote that particular sentence of the finding of this research. We are trying to train a skill. We are trying to scan a skill, but creativity is not a skill. What we really need to be training is a creative mindset. A creative mindset will encompass so many other things. It requires discipline, self-discipline, the 20 March mentality. It requires having a higher purpose, which leads to a passion and giving meaning to life, a meaning to our work, 
It involves the paranoia to be aware of what's happening around you. It involves risk-taking, experimentation, persistence, resilience, and burning focus. This is what makes a creative mindset. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, Indus has a head start in our country, and that is one of the primary reasons why Indus Bangalore under Mrs. Rao's leadership is number one in India for the last 11 consecutive years. And I'd like to give a big applause to our principal, Mrs. Rao. Indus has a head start in developing creative minds of our students to be market ready, future ready, economic ready, and moral ready. And while doing so, we realize in our humility that artificial intelligence cannot replace a human being. It cannot by itself be creative. It can enhance creativity. It can make us human. It can enhance our humanness. And therefore, with these few words, I am thankful for this opportunity to speak to you, to assure you that this human machine integration that is happening at Indus will make our children very, very happy. And I'm reminded of when John Lennon was five years old, his teacher said to him, like we all parents ask our kids, what do you want to be? He said, happy. The teacher said to this little fellow, John Lennon, he said, you possibly have not understood the assignment. He said, madam, you have not understood life. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your vision. We will ensure to implement it and be a part of this collaborative and collective mind. We now have Jisoo Kim presenting a beautiful rendition of Johann Packelbel's famous Canon in D major, arranged in the key of C by George Winston. This is followed by Maroon 5's famous song, Memories.
Thank you, Jisu, for that wonderful performance. Up next, we have the Hindi skit titled Marne Ke Baad. It is a farcical comedy that glimpses into the world of a middle-class Indian household. Mangat Ram, a retired section officer, tired of daily squabbles with his wife, wishes for death. What if his wish comes true? Is he really ready for the pandemonium that might unfold? आइए देखते हैं वी एन आनंद की लिखी हुई हास्य नाटिका मरने के बाद अरे मैंने कहा सोहन की माँ कहा हो आई हाय क्यों चिल्ला रहे हो रसोई में हो रसोई में कोई काम भी करने दोगे या चिल्लाते ही जाओगे अरे तो तुम कब से कह रही हो कि तुम रसोई में हो लेकिन खाना तो अभी तुमने दिया ही नहीं और यह भूख जोरों से लग रही है तुम नौकरी से क्या रिटायर हुए दिमाग से भी रिटायर हो गए शाम के छह बजते ही खाने के लिए चिल्लाना शुरू कर देते हो देखो सोहन की माँ जब नौकरी में था तब भी यही आदत थी और अब भी यही आदत है की मैं कोई काम पेंडिंग नहीं छोड़ता हाँ और फिर कुछ ख्याल भी तो करो मैं रिटायर सही लेकिन हो तो तुम्हारा पति देव तुम्हारा फर्ज है मेरी सेवा करना अच्छा तो मैं तुम्हारी सेवा करू डर मोस्ट वेलकम तुम्हारे लिए आमलेट बनाओ आमलेट <laughs> ले आओ एक दो प्लेट तुम्हारे लिए चाट बनाओ चाट वाई नॉट जरूर जरूर ये मुंह और मसूर की दाल मुंह और मसूर की मुंह और मसूर की दाल यानी कि सबकी सब चीजें नमकीन मीठा कुछ भी नहीं आए हाय मंगत राम जी मुहावरा था मुहावरा जितने पर उतनी ही उड़ान समझे 
<laughs> और एक बात हाँ बोलो तुम्हें शर्म नहीं आती सारा दिन बेकार खाट पर पड़े ऐडते रहते हो ना काम ना धाम और हर वक्त तुम्हें खाने को जरूर कुछ चाहिए हे भगवान ऐसे भी कोई औरत होगी इस दुनिया में जो अपने पति को खाने पीने बैठो के आए हाय मैं कब रोकती हूँ तुम्हें खाने से खाओ खूब खाओ घर में टकसाल जो लगे रुपयों की भाग्यवान जरा हिस्सा बोलो हिस्सा चिल्ला चिल्ला कर अड़ोसियों पड़ोसियों की कानों में जलील तो ना कर ना जाने मेरा तुझसे छुटकारा कब होगा हे भगवान कृपा निधान कर कल्याण या तो मेरे ले ले प्राण और या और या और या, और या भी मेरे ही ले ले प्राण ओए काम के लिए आए हैं अरे तू तो उठा ना रे बाबा अरे 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 अरे, अरे तुम लोग कौन हो भाई कहा ले जा रहे हो मुझे छोड़ दो हे तुम बेकार हाथ छुड़ाने की कोशिश मत करो और अब तुम यहाँ से वापस नहीं जा सकते प्राणी तो, तो, तो पहले हाथ तो पकड़ लो और प्राणी कौन प्राणी भाई मेरा नाम बिगाड़ने की कोशिश मत करो मैं हूँ मंगत राम उर्फ मंगता रिटायर्ड सेक्शन ऑफिसर तुम ना मंगत राम हो और ना मंगता अब तुम सिर्फ प्राणी हो प्राणी लेकिन आपकी तारीफ हा, 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 हम यमराज के एजेंट हैं <laughs> यमराज के एजेंट कुछ समझ भी नहीं आया बैंक के एजेंट ट्रैवल एजेंट कमीशन एजेंट मैनेजिंग एजेंट तो सुन रखे थे लेकिन ये यमराज का एजेंट क्या होता है तुम अभी तक नहीं समझे भोले प्राणी हम यमदूत है यमदूत क्या कहा यमदूत हाँ यमदूत अब तुम मर चुके हो और हम तुम्हें यमराज के पास ले जा रहे हैं म, 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 मैं मर चुका हूँ लेकिन किस खुशी में भाई साहब मेरा मतलब है मेरा कसूर क्या है भूल गए बोले प्राणी कल शाम को तुम खुद ही प्रार्थना कर रहे थे कि हे भगवान कृपा निधान कर कल्याण ले ले मेरे प्राण और अब पूछते हो कि तुम्हारा कसूर क्या है <laughs> वो प्रार्थना है वो तो मैं अपनी पत्नी को डरा रहा लेकिन था। भगवान ने तुम्हारी प्रार्थना सुन ली है जो बात मैं अपनी पत्नी से कह रहा था वो भगवान ने सुन ली यानी कि रॉन्ग नंबर मिल गया हे सैनोरिता अब तुम भूल जाओ उस दुनिया को मैं कैसे भूल जाओ उस दुनिया को जहाँ मेरी पत्नी रहती है जिस वक्त तुम मुझे लेकर चले थे उस वक्त वो मेरे लिए पराठे बना रही थी तुम भी अजीब तरह के इंसान हो शरीर छोड़ दिया संसार छोड़ दिया लेकिन तुम्हारे खाने का लालच नहीं छूटा मिस्टर यमदूत काश तुमने मेरी पत्नी का हाथ का बना हुआ खाना खाया होता आए बहुत बहुत हो चुका अब चलो मेरे साथ और तुमने खुद ही तो प्रार्थना की थी कि ले लो मेरे प्राण अरे भाई कह तो दिया मैंने वो तो मैं अपनी पत्नी के साथ मजाक कर रहा था अब मैं यकीन दिलाता हूँ महाराज अब मैं ऐसी गलती कभी भी नहीं करूंगा अब मैं मरने का नाम कभी नहीं लूंगा बस एक बार मुझे वापस ले चलो लेकिन अब तुम्हारे वापस जाने का कोई फायदा नहीं लेकिन क्यों महाराज तुम्हारे रिश्तेदार और तुम्हारे दोस्त तुम्हारे शरीर का संस्कार कर चुके हैं अगर तुम शरीर धारण करके उस दुनिया में वापस पहुंचोगे तो लोग तुम्हें भूत समझेंगे भूत हाँ भूत हाँ। लेकिन कोई उपाय सोचो महाराज सिर्फ एक तरीका हो सकता है प्राणी क्या पहले वहां सिर्फ तुम्हारी आत्मा जाएगी यानी कि लोग तुम्हारी बात तो सुन सकेंगे लेकिन वो तुम्हें देख नहीं सकेंगे अब तुम अपनी आवाज में जब धीरे धीरे से लोगों को यकीन दिला दोगे कि तुम मरे नहीं जिंदा हो तब तुम्हें शरीर भी मिल जाएगा मुझे मंजूर है महाराज मुझे मंजूर है मुझे ले चलो वापस उस दुनिया में तो चलो वापस उस दुनिया में अरे बस आ रहा हूँ छोड़ दो अब तुम इस दुनिया में वापस आ गए देखो ये लोग तुम्हारी याद में माटवी जलसा कर रहे हैं वो देखिए महाराज मेरा जिगरी दोस्त रुल आया राम भाषण देने के लिए खड़ा हो रहा है भाइयों और बहनों जैसा कि आप लोग जानते हैं 
आज हम यहाँ लाला मंगत राम के मौत पर शोक प्रकट करने के लिए इकट्ठा हुए हैं। लाला मंगत राम करोता हुआ चेहरा जब भी मेरे आंखों के सामने आता है मुझे मुझे हंसी आ जाती है अरे मैं गलत बोल मेरे कहने का मतलब था कि लाला मंगत राम का हंसता हुआ चेहरा जब भी मेरे आंखों के सामने आता है मुझे रोना आ जाता है तुम हमें रोने के लिए छोड़ गए मंगत राम महाराज मेरा ख्याल है कि मैं अपने आप को जाहिर कर दू कि मैं जिंदा हूँ अरे रुको मत मंगत राम यही तो मौका है और ना रुलाओ मंगत राम तुम कहा हो मंगत राम मैं मैं यहाँ हूँ रुलाया राम ये कौन है बेवकूफ जो बीच में बोल रहा है हाँ हाँ तो मैं कह रहा था लाला मंगत राम की जितनी भी तारीफ की जाए कम है सूझबूझ वाले व्यक्ति थे वो जानते थे किस वक्त कौन सी बात करनी है रुलाया राम ये कौन है बदतमीज जो फिर बीच में बोला मैं मैं मंगत राम बोल रहा हूँ मंगत राम हाँ मंगत राम जिसकी याद में तुम यहाँ मातमी जलसा कर रहे हो हाँ तो साहेबा आज पापा हमारे बीच नहीं है लेकिन उनकी याद हमेशा हमेशा हमारे दिलों में रहेगी काश कि आज वो जिंदा होते और देखते कि शान से हम उनका मातमी जलसा कर रहे हैं अरे अगर तुम चाहो तो मैं सचमुच तुम्हारे सामने आ सकता हूँ हाँ हाँ एक बार सामने आ जाओ एक बार सामने आ गए तुम्हारी हड्डी पसली एक कर दूंगा कम वक्त मातमी जल से मैं खलल डालता है अरे बेटे शांत हो जाओ शांत मंगत राम अब चलो यहाँ से तुम्हें यहाँ अब कोई नहीं पहचानेगा महाराज मुझे घर ले चलो महाराज मुझे घर ले चलो वो देखिए महाराज मेरा बेटा सोहन मेरी याद में कितना रो रहा है सोहन तुम अपने पापा की याद में इस प्रकार कब तक रोते रहोगे मैं क्या करू रीटा कुछ समझ ही नहीं आ रहा सोहन तुम्हें अपने पापा के मरने का सचमुच बहुत दुख है हाँ बहुत दुख है तुम्हें याद है सोहन तुम्हारे पापा हमारे मोहब्बत के रास्ते में रोड अटकाया करते थे अब 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 हाँ हाँ याद है और तुम्हारे पापा कितने लालची थे हाँ हाँ रीता मुझे पापा से वाकई परेशानी थी चलो चलो छुट्टी हुई अब हमारा रास्ता साफ हो गया अभी हम चैन से शादी कर सकेंगे धीरे बोलो रीता कोई सुन लेगा कौन है कोई भी तो नहीं ऐसा लगता है किसी की आवाज आ रही है कोई नहीं सोहन तुम्हारा बहन है हाँ तो अब बताओ सोहन तुम शादी कब करोगे मुझसे क्या दे रहा है रीटा अचट मंगनी पट ब्या सच हाँ हाँ। मैं खबर अभी माँ को बता के आती हूँ तुम मेरे बगैर शादी करोगे सोहन कौन है मैं पूछता हूँ कौन है मैं तुम्हारा बाप हूँ मेरा बाप मेरा बाप जरा सामने तो आ तुझे वही पहुँचाऊंगा जहाँ मेरा बाप गया है आए हाय क्या है सोहन तुम किससे झगड़ रहे हो फिर से ना जाने माँ यहाँ कौन है सामने भी नहीं आता है और खामो का बोलते जा रहा है मैं मैं पापा की याद में दुखी हूँ और मेरा मजाक उड़ा रहा है सोहन की माँ सोहन की माँ कौन कौन है <laughs> सोहन की माँ नाश पीते हमारे घर में मातम हो रहा है और तुम हे हे कर रहे हो शर्म नहीं आती तुम्हें कौन हो तुम मैं मैं म, म, मेरा मतलब है मंगता 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 ये कोई वक्त है मांगने का सोहन की माँ मुझे पहचानने की कोशिश करो मैं तुम्हारा पति हूँ पति पहचानो पहचानो आए हाय ये क्या चिल्ला रहे हो कि तुम मेरे पति हो पति हो ये तो तुम पिछले चालीस साल से सुना रहे हो कि तुम मेरे पति हो पति हो सोहन की माँ हाँ जिंदा है सोहन की माँ <laughs> सोहन की माँ कोई नई बात बताओ अच्छा बैठो बताता हूँ कल रात मैंने एक बड़ा भयानक सपना देखा सपने में मैं क्या देखता हूँ कि मैं मर चुका हूँ और यमदूत मुझे यमराज के पास ले जा रहा है क्या हाँ मुझे किसी ने भी नहीं पहचाना मुझे तुमने भी नहीं पहचाना मैंने देख लिया है कि मरने के बाद क्या होता है और मैंने फैसला कर लिया है कि अभी मैं कभी नहीं मरूंगा आए हाय मैं पूछती हूँ की अगर तुम्हें कभी मरना ही नहीं था तो बीमा क्यूँ कराया था अरे तो क्या तुम सचमुच चाहती हो कि मैं मर जाऊं? हे भगवान हे भगवान कृपा निधान 
कर कल्याण और इस बार ऐसे ले ले प्राण कि कभी वापस लौटने का ना लू ना अरे रुको 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 नहीं 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 अगर ये हम दूध ने सुन लिया तो सचमुच ले जाएगा मेरे प्राण नहीं 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 नहीं, नहीं। भाग्यवान सुबह हो गई ले आना जरा पकवान अच्छा पकवान चाहिए अरे, तुम्हें हाँ? अरे, अरे। It was certainly an enthralling showcase of theatrical prowess. Now it's time to ignite the stage with an electrifying performance. Get ready to witness the dynamic art of hip hop dancing that will have you on your feet. Tonight, our talented students will be expressing their emotions through movements to the EDM song "Legends Never Die" by the American pop rock band Against the Current. Get ready to be wowed by their energy, creativity, and skill as they bring this cultural piece of art to life. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die. They become a part of you.
we hope this exhilarating performance kept you on the edge of your seat. Up next, we have a solo performance by Wu Jin He, playing 1245 by Ethan. Whether you're a fan of acoustic ballads or simply appreciate honest and heartfelt music, it is a must-listen track that will stay with you long after the last note fades away. Thank you, Woojin, for that enlivening performance. Before we introduce the next event, Ayush, let me test you. Both of us have been at Indus for quite some time now, so you must know this. What are the core values of Indus? Empathy, discipline, respect, and love. What intrigues me the most about our values is that there are so many ways to define them. To different individuals, love evokes different meanings. At Indus, we believe that love and sacrifice are intertwined, and one cannot live without the other. This is the essence that we take away from this emotionally stirring play. Ladies, our gen ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to present to you our talented cast in the performance of The Flowering Tree. This play is based on a folk tale, originally in Kannada and translated to English by A.K. Ramanujan. This story revolves around Pushpa, a poor but beautiful young girl who discovers that she has the magical ability to turn herself into a flowering tree. A young prince 
who gets enchanted by her beauty and magic demands that she must be brought back to the palace so that he can marry her. What unfolds is a tale of abandonment and pain. Join us as we embark on Pushpa's journey as she traverses through self-discovery and courage. Prepare to be captivated into a world of enigma and marvel. Yes, my dear. Can you tell us a story? A story? What kind of story? Maybe one with a prince and a princess and a palace. Hmm. A story with princes, princesses and palaces? How about this one? Long, long ago. But not so long ago. In a land far, far away. But not so far away. There was a beautiful palace with magnificent domes and beautiful arches. In it lived two princesses and a prince. The elder princess was just getting married. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Are you narrating the story of the flowering tree? Yes, I am. Oh, that story. I remember that story. Yeah, I think we learned it in our English class, maybe? Back in the days of school. Wow. Well, we are the narrators. Let us do the narrating. Now, the elder sister was married, but in the kingdom far from the palace, there lived a poor woman with her two daughters, Pushpa and Kusuma. Yet, so poor were they. They slept hungry almost every day. One such night, Akka, Akka, Akka. What, what's wrong? I can't sleep. Hungry, are you? Very hungry. Okay, wait. Here, have this for now. I said hungry, not thirsty. Food, we have none. Water, just some. You know, you better learn to be happy with what you have. Fussing won't change anything. Shh, you'll wake Amma up. She's tired after full day's work. All she does is work, work, work. Despite that, there's no food. If she was ever paid enough, but at least have some crumbs to eat. But my stomach is growling, Akka. Okay. All right, then I have a secret. Secret? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And so, with the blessing the old man bestowed upon me, I believe I can become a tree, a flowering tree. Really? How come you never told me? And how do we know it works? Well, but you must be careful. I will be. Come, let's see the flowers. Yes. Nice. Now let's go as you plan. Let's sell the flowers. And get some money. And get some food, Akka. Eating out. Not healthy, you know. Come, let's go to Lamma. Not now. Meet me tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. Bande, bande, bande. Sabzi, 50 rupees. 
That beautiful fragrance. What is it? Sarkar, your sister's maid was ordered by the princess to buy some flowers. Flowers? Get them here. Now. Sarkar! Those aren't the smell of any flowers in the garden, nor in the orchard. I wonder from where they are. You call for my flowers? Yes, I wanted to smell them. Aren't they beautiful? Just like me? Of course they are. Could I please have a look? Hmm. And what will I get in return? Anything you wish for. Anything? Then I want to learn hunting. <laughs> <laughs> hunting? I'll do all the hunting for you, my dear. Could I please have a look? These flowers? You know, I got them from the market today. Yes, that's wonderful. You see, they look so good. <laughs> get your own. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me those flowers. The princess? No, from the market. Sarkar, your sister has bought all the flowers. Gone are the girls selling them. Find those girls. I need those flowers now. Sarkar! We bought potatoes and onions. Some chilies, salt and dal too. Bought? You're saying you bought this? Where did you buy this from? Not bought. B brought. We, we brought the rice. Brought? From where? Mm, from there. Uh, uh, that Amma. Um, Ch Chinnama. Chinnama gave it to Chinnama us. Chinnama was with me all morning. All morning? All morning. All morning. Not Chinnama. Um. Rajama, Rajama gave Rajama. it to Rajama, Rajama, Rajama has been out of station since yesterday. Mm. Out with the truth or I'll give I'll you good. Okay, you should tell you, should tell you. Amma, the, the truth is we sold flowers. Flowers? What flowers? Flowers from where? We, we got them from the forest. Forest, flowers, what are you talking about? Amma, the truth is... Come here, Amma. What are you doing? Just wait, Amma, you'll see. My daughter. So many flowers. My beautiful daughter.
Wonder of wonders the prince did behold his excitement he couldn't hold he couldn't wait till he was 25 years old pushpa was the one he wanted for a wife forever for life but was it she he loved or did he love the tree even if it was for the tree the one he married was she there was joy and happiness jubilation and celebration the prince was married to our pushpa our, our dear, dear pushpa, pushpa. She would be loved. She would be happy forever, forever ever more. Ke le chaluve ninna pada dalli du
That's the story. Wait, that, that's it? No, no. Now begins the real story. Ah. The prince has gone away, but where? His job is such, has to travel a lot. Being by herself, that's her lot. Then one day, bored as usual, with nothing much to do, apart from dress and despair over what more she could have, the sister-in-law came up with a plan. Uh, a plan? Shh. Watch. Hmm. Yes. This is a good place. Come on, everyone. Let's picnic here. <laughs> this is good, but we need a nice shady tree. Maybe one like the, what was it called? The Hongi Mala? Or, or even a tamarind tree could do. We could catch a picnic and get some rest as well. Oh, no. Not a tamarind tree. They say you mustn't sleep on it by day. And there's no Hongi Mala around here. And didn't you say that she could turn into a tree? What? Who said I could? She, she did! did. <laughs> Who, me? I mean, I know you can. How do you know? Every morning the maid sweeps, heaps and heaps of sweet-smelling flowers, morning after morning. Day after day. Allow us the pleasure. Yes, let's have some fun. Or is it all reserved for your loved one? Mm. Saved, Saved up, up for, for the, the husband? husband? Or is it just a tale? A cock and bull story she cooked up. Anyways, there's no real cooking to do in the royal palace. So she must have cooked up a story. For the picnic, of course. But, no. No, they're all calling me a liar. Liar, 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 liar. You know what? When Anna comes, I know what to do. No, please don't say anything to him. You must know what to do, right? Yes, yes, I do. Will you be careful? I'll be so careful. I'll be, okay. be, be so careful. careful. Can, can, can we come? Can we come? Wow, such sweet, sweet smelling flowers. Be gentle. That hurts. When in love, just cool. With love. And fresh air will do, but through the rain. Through storm and gale. The prince did wander, looking here, there, and yonder. Pushpa! Stopping neither for rest, nor night or day. Without respite, he looked, he searched. Pushpa! He called, he cried. He wailed and howled. Pushpa! But he had set out with eyes peeled. Westward at his sister's behest. She was scared, out of her wits. Telling the truth would tear her to bits. But the poor dear, what could she do? She's a young thing, old enough to picnic, smart enough to brag. But too timid to stop her friends, much too ready to avoid the flack. What's done is done. Cannot be undone. Pushpa, the beauty of the flowering tree. Look at what's become of her, a stump. At best. And then came the rain. It didn't rain. It poured. It swamped the land and swept away the stump. Pushpa, she floated. She drifted, helpless, with neither arm to flail nor limb that could save. She was washed away. What's this? His name is, his name is Joy. I'm sick. The prince is wearing a silver so one. What's this? A woman or a tree? I've never seen anything like it. Such a strange creature. Half woman, half tree? 
What's the commotion out there? It, it's a creature. Awfully rare. Beautiful and ugly. With hardly the skin of a woman. Yet, there's the bark of a tree. Stop the riddles and bring it in. I'll see for myself. And so, here we are. With a twist in the tail. The elder sister-in-law found it hard to believe, but deny she couldn't. This was Pushpa indeed. It was she who had been brought to her doorstep by the river of life. Yet was she aware of her ability, her very special ability? That no other soul had. To boast of, to brag about, or make a career of? Of how the little sister-in-law had not meant harm, but had done it nevertheless. Albeit with some ineffective calm. Maybe, maybe not. The elder sister, she nursed her back to health, made sure she got enough care. But in the end, she was just a stump. She would neither speak nor stop shedding tears. Her grief, you could see, was unbearable, unfathomable. In the end, she was just a thing, if you please. So she was kept away, looked at sometimes. Ignored mostly. But life is full of surprises and welcome coincidences. Are, that happens only in Hindi films. Oh, where do you think they got it from? From stories of yore. Folk tales with twists twist galore. galore. Yet our hero, the prince, is the only one who can do something. The elder sister, she nursed her back to health. And then one night, she had the stump placed in the lovelorn prince's chamber, hoping that he would see the resemblance to his wife, since he just could not forget. And so they met the prince. And Pushpa. I cannot undo what's done. But I promise you, my dearest one, I will search for every branch, every leaf that will make you whole, like you were. It's good to know you can't intend, but it's too late. It's never too late for you in the beginning. Let's go, there's no time to waste. Let's make haste. Leave no stone unturned. Well then, maybe for now, let's try with some water, poured gently with love and care. So the question is, did it work? I don't know. The tale of the flowering tree has been passed along from generation to generation. Ah, there you are. Sorry, sorry, I got caught up. Anyway, let's continue. Now, the tale of the flowering tree has been passed on from generation to generation, still remaining a mystery. But with it, it's carried on the message that love and hope can heal all. So audience, what do you think? Did love prevail? Or was she left broken forever? The fate of this story now lies in your hands. Let's give a big round of applause for our talented cast. We now have Aditi Pradeep presenting Man in the Mirror, one of the most iconic pieces by Michael Jackson, and well, one of my favorites too. This song is an uplifting and powerful anthem about personal transformation and the responsibility for us to create a positive change in our world. Please put your hands together to welcome Aditi Pradeep. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. It's gonna feel Blind with 
What a brilliant performance. Thank you, Aditi. We are delighted to present our exceptional choir. These dedicated young musicians have put in tireless effort to hone their skills and are eager to exhibit their talents on the stage today. Consisting of Andrea Bocelli's Time to Say Goodbye, Ghanana Ghanana by A.R. Rahman, followed by a quick segue into modern contemporary starting with a prelude from Harry Styles' song, Music for a Sushi Restaurant, transcending into Forever by DNCE, ending with Grammy-nominated rock song, The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. We've got you all covered. Presenting the choir.
thank you for that euphonious rendition of music. Let's take a moment to appreciate their harmony, impressive range, and their ability to connect with us through music. Now, on to our last performance of the night, the concert band. Music has always been a universal means of expression. The concert band, under the direction of Mr. Sudeep Jaiprasad, is here to showcase the diversity and versatility of musical genres. Nothing Else Matters, considered to be one of the greatest songs ever written. This poignant, heartfelt song is a true testament to honesty and identity. It was released by the metal band Metallica as part of the Black Album in the year 1991. The song has significant sounds of guitars, strings, woodwinds, and brass accompaniments with the main melody played on the keyboards and climaxes with heavy distorted guitar solos. Please enjoy the Indus Concert Band playing the rendition of Metallica's Nothing Else Matters.
Thank you. Up next, we present Grease Lightning. This song is from the 1971 musical Grease starring John Travolta. The song is about a car being rebuilt into racing condition. It speaks about drive, grit, and passion. The song features a fast, steady rhythm with a lot of percussion, driving bass lines, and power chord guitar rhythms, accompanied by strings, woodwinds, and brass, with the main melody played on the keyboards. The arrangement also features a drum off between the two drummers, accompanied by the whole band. Please welcome the Indus Concert Band, arranged by Mr. Sudeep Jai Prasad. present the Top Gun Anthem. This is an instrumental rock composition and the original theme of the 1986 movie Top Gun. It evokes feelings of triumph and victory. The song is melodic, 
and leaves an everlasting expression after all these years. The song and the electric guitars and keyboards play most of the essential parts, accompanied by the strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. This is a message to all future generations. Do, Do not, not let, let this the song, song die. die. Thank you. Next, 
we present to you Spice Jam. This is a song of multiple genres designed to exhibit qualities of each of the instrument families. The keyboards, the strings, the winds, and the percussions. It consists of simple interwoven melodies and rhythms with all instruments contributing equally to form a cohesive motif throughout. The song has a playful edge but speaks for the importance of collaboration and coordination. It is composed for the Indus Concert Band by Mr. Sudeep Jaiprasad. Please enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Spice Jam.
thank you for that invigorating performance. Every instrument and musician working together in perfect harmony was so powerful and graceful. A big thank you to Mr. Sudeep for orchestrating this so beaut beautifully. A big round of applause for the concert band, everybody. We would now like to call Ms. Shri Devi to take the stage and give the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. As we come to the end of this evening's program, I would like to start out by thanking our CEO and MD, Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, for gracing the event and for his valuable mentoring about the role of creative and moral imagination in making leaders of tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Many heads, hearts, and minds have come together to make this evening possible. At the helm is our principal, Mrs. Sarojini Rao, who is the driving force, who has always walked every step of the way with us. Today's performance is a direct outcome of her clear vision, her strong aesthetic quotient, and her continuous pursuit of excellence. Thank you, Mrs. Rao. This was a huge collaborative effort by the entire MDD team, comprising of Sudeep, Bridula, Karthik, Anand, and Captain Ravi for the music team, Ajay Vesmita for the drama, Sindhu and Sharon for the dances, Ipshita and Monideepa for working with the MCs, the art department for the props, and Ms. Archana Singh from our Hindi department for driving the Hindi play. Thank you, Eagle Robot team, for the creatives, along with the computer science department. This evening would not have been possible without our in-house magician, Ms. Vilma Lewis. Thank you, Vilma, for your exceptional coordination, your positive mindset, and your quick thinking. Our DA, John Rabindranath, has worked tirelessly to string the entire ensemble together on stage today. Thank you to you, John, and Mr. Damodar and his team for taking care of the entire background logistics. Thank you to the entire leadership team of MIP and DP and all our teachers who remain flexible and supportive throughout to ensure that our students pursued their aesthetic interests, but not at the cost of the academics. Thank you, teachers. But this evening ultimately belongs to our students who have yet again proven that success lies at the intersection of opportunity and preparation. They pursued their passion for the arts by demonstrating deliberate practice and emerged, stronger with, emerged with a stronger sense of self. I am grateful and inspired by those students who have made use of the opportunity this year to make this experience a memorable one for all of us. Thank you, students. Thank you so much, Ms. Shri. Everyone, please let's rise for the school song and the national anthem.
We've reached the end of this evening. Thank you and good night.